think that growing up with a disability and being different than other children is hard. It's hard for um, the child, it's hard for the parent. When you suffer through a mental illness or any of this stuff, you suffer in silence. You know, it's not, you know, kids that are physically sick, you know, it's you get this outpouring of support, but when it's a mental thing, it's... Your family's suffering, but you need to hide, and you need to protect, and you need to eliminate the stigma. And, um, and it's incredibly difficult because you need to advocate for your child and get them the help they need, but you have to be really quiet about it. At this point, you have to realize I had probably met over a hundred doctors. I mean, neurologists, developmental pediatricians, psychiatrists, speech therapists, occupational therapists. I mean, you name it. We had been to so many different specialists. All those people that I had seen, I never felt like any one of them ever really understood, that they ever really understood her, that they ever really understood what we were dealing with at home. When I came into Newmark, when I met Cindy, I was like, wow, she's not winging it. She actually has it totally figured out. She knows exactly what she's doing. She actually has seen a lot of kids just like Cameron before for many years, and she knows exactly how to deal with my kid. Every kid that comes here, we're looking for a kid who's struggling in some area of their life. Generally, they'll have some sort of disorder. And you have to be willing as a, as a human being, I don't care if you're six, 16, 12, whatever age you are, you have to be able to say you want something, that you want something to be different, and you have to be willing to give. And they're bright, they're funny, they're charming, they're endearing, they're real, they're authentic, they're happy, they're sad. They are the spectrum of humanity in all its glory. Mm -hmm. That's our kids. Cindy and I worked at two schools together. But we really said to ourselves, you know what? We really love the special needs kids. So um, let's really look at opening our own special needs program um, in an area that we felt one was missing. It was the first time someone got it. It, it just, it, it was, I, I said to her, we walked out of there, I said. It was the most promising I mean, just, moment of our lives. Yeah. Be between the two of them, Cindy and Regina, we left knowing that someone knew what was going on even more than what, what we did. And just such a relief and just so much hope for having our daughter back again and thriving and succeeding. If I went to build a school, this would be what I would have, you know, dreamed of. Then to see the innovative and interesting and, and um, you know, the, the, a classroom that really works and that um, had to be, you know, research-based because, I mean, it's exciting for the kids. I mean, visually and, and, and you know, uh, tactile and all those other things, but for a teacher, it has to be a dream come true. And for a parent, it's, it's just my bottle. We I, I was blown away. Our kids really react to space, you know, so their sensory issues can be positive or negative depending on the space that they're in. And I think one of the things for us when you really look at much more of a 21st century classroom is that things need to be able to move. 80% um, of your classroom should be movable. Um, and I think that's really what we've been able to create here with the help of Steelcase because our kids need to move. They learn better when they can move. Everyone learns better when they can move. I mean, you know, so hopefully everyone in the world will catch up to that someday. Mm -hmm. But we all learn better when we can move and we can be comfortable. Our classrooms are set up with the technology piece and how kids can really move from center to center. It's very much learning set up in a triangle. It really makes a huge difference in behavior. We see less behavior incidents because of it. And in terms of um, their productivity and our teachers' productivity. I mean, they love their space. Uh, when everything's working and you feel good about where you are and everything's clean and it's neat and um, it's, it's just easy to maneuver, everybody benefits from that. His writing has expanded. Uh, his, um, just, just his whole demeanor is, is, he's him, if that makes sense. He's Ben, he's finally Ben and that is, you know, exciting to see. I never ever thought that Cameron would ever have a chance of going to college. It never 
again, I was the lady who was staring at the ceiling thinking, let her just have 20 words. Let her be able to say to me, tell me when she's sick, when she's hungry, and to think now that she might actually have a chance of going to a two-year or a four-year college, and that's because of this school. It's hard to put, uh, like, put a descriptive word on it because at the end of the day, we got our daughter back. And, you know, this girl that we had, you have all these hopes, aspirations for any child, and suddenly you're thinking that, oh man, it's not gonna happen. I feel that again. That a school, that we could be so grateful to a school to give us our family back and our daughter back is incredible.